If you were to examine the cerebral cortex from a lateral view, you would notice a lateral sulcus, a very prominent feature, also known as the lateral fissure or the sylvian fissure, named after a 17th century neuroanatomist. This lateral sulcus separates the temporal lobe of the cerebrum from the parietal and frontal lobes of the cerebrum. If you were to pull from this structure to expose what lies beneath, you would see a layer of cerebral cortex, which is normally hidden from view. It's cerebral cortex, so it's the outermost layer of the cerebrum, but there is a lobe of the cerebrum which rests over it, so it is typically not exposed to the surface of the brain. This region is known as the insular cortex or the insula, and it has a number of important roles, and it could then be discussed in its sections, although how one divides the insula into section depends. You could refer uh, to the sulci, uh, the grooves which separate different uh, regions, um, and thus then the, the folds, the gyri that compose this area, or one could refer to differences in the cytoarchitecture, the cellular organization. So the number of subdivisions would vary depending on what you were using to make these uh, divisions. Uh, this insula uh, is certainly connected to other regions of the neocortex, in addition to the basal ganglia, the thalamus, and the limbic system. It has roles in sensation, in interpreting sensation, particularly pain. Part of the insula composes a section of the gustatory cortex, so it obviously has a role in taste. Part of the insula composes part of the auditory cortex, so this region obviously has a role in hearing. Uh, there are also areas which are involved in visceral awareness, the awareness of sensation from visceral organs. The insula also has regions which have roles in motor functioning, such as swallowing, the motility of the muscle along the GI tract, the coordination of movements with uh, the hands and eyes, and also it is involved in speech, not the primary center for speech, but nevertheless with roles in the muscular uh, movements of uh, speech. Uh, it is also involved in autonomic functions and as a part of the limbic system has a role in emotions, particularly uh, the expression of uh, facial uh, muscle movements uh, relating them to emotion, so emotional facial expression. Uh, the insula is involved in empathy and also in orgasm. So this region of the brain, which lies beneath the lateral uh, sulcus, has a number of diverse roles.